Hi, I'm Patrick, and I'm gay. So, are you all watching this fellow travelers show, this Showtime show? I'm a little late to the party. It's real good. It's sexy as hell, but it's also, like, gay. And it's gay history, and I'm a bit of a gay history nerd. Fellow travelers takes place in three different time periods. It takes place in the 50s during the McCarthy hearings, and then in the 70s on Fire Island, and then in the 80s in San Francisco at the height of the AIDS crisis. So, it's a ton of really wild gay history that's, like, fascinating and heartbreaking and devastating and sexy and all of it. But they also sprinkle in little gay Easter eggs for the gay nerds like me who know and love our history. The gay Easter egg I'm the most obsessed with is the character Stormy, who first appears in episode one, played by Chelsea Russell. I knew right away who this was supposed to be. So Stormy in the show is a lounge singer, and I could just tell right away that it was based on the real life person Stormy Delavery. Look at this picture of Stormy from the show. And and this picture of Stormy from real life. And like, it's just obvious to anybody who knows that that's clearly meant to be that person. So I thought this might be a fun opportunity to share a little bit of my useless gay knowledge and tell you a little bit about the real life Stormy Delavery. Stormy is from New Orleans, Louisiana, made a name for herself as a singer. She, that, that's what she did. That's why the character in Fellow Travelers is a singer. She traveled with a big band, but when she entered the LGBTQ scene, she was known for traveling with the Jewel Box Review, which was one of the earliest drag queen reviews to travel the country. Stormy was the first and only ever drag king of the review, and Stormy was sort of like the MC for the show. The Jewel Box Review is also famous for being the first racially integrated drag review that we know about. Fellow Travelers sort of throws historical accuracy out the window just for this one thing, because Stormy wasn't in D.C., which is where the show takes place and where the character is in the show. She would have, at the time of Fellow Travelers, have been traveling with the Jewel Box Review, but it doesn't matter. I love that they put Stormy me in there and threw the historical accuracy out for five seconds so we could all get to know this person a little bit. Stormy is most famous, maybe, for having been at the Stonewall Riots in June of 1969. There's the legend of the Stonewall lesbian who was this butch lesbian that was being dragged out of the bar and was clubbed in the face by one of the police officers and that sort of act of violence is said to be what kicked off the gays going haywire and fighting back for really the first time in history. This Stonewall lesbian was never officially identified, though in the early 2000s Stormy came forward and said that it was they who was the Stonewall lesbian. We don't have any way of proving or disproving it, but why would she make it up? And then Stormy becomes sort of like a fixture of the lesbian bar scene in New York. They were actually known to walk around the village going from lesbian bar to lesbian bar with a gun on their hip, making sure nobody was bothering the lesbians. Yes! Completely coincidentally, I met Stormy, I believe it was 2002. I was wandering the streets of Chelsea when day looking for a bathroom because I pee all the time. I wandered into the Chelsea Hotel on 23rd Street. This incredibly interesting looking person was sitting there in a chair. Very old and sort of grumpy looking. Those are my people. I struck up a conversation. They introduced themselves to me as Stormy. It wasn't until later that I googled or whatever the 2002 version of that was and sort of learned who they were. And then I came back day after day to sort of talk to this person. They were a fixture at this bar right next door to the Chelsea Hotel called East of Eighth. It's no longer there. But Stormy sort of held court at the bar, would talk to people or not, they didn't care. But if you got Stormy on a good day and you were interested, they would just talk your ear off about Stonewall and gay history and the movement and the Jewel Box Review and early drag queens and racial integration. This person was a wealth of knowledge and the community was very blessed to call them our own. People have always been fascinated by Stormy. Take a look at this picture of Stormy taken by Diane Arbus. Like, what? Stormy lived at the famed Chelsea Hotel for decades until about 2010 when dementia set in and they moved to a nursing home in Brooklyn where they died in relative obscurity in 2014. But Stormy's legacy lives on. In June 2019, Stormy was one of the inaugural 50 American pioneers, trailblazers, and heroes inducted on the National LGBTQ Wall of Honor within the Stonewall Monument. Yes, ma'am! And good on ya, fellow travelers, for including including Stormy in your storytelling. We were lucky to have them. I was lucky to get to meet them the two or three times that I got to sit and chat. Memory I'll cherish for the rest of my life. Stormy, God love you, wherever you are.